All right, let's get more now from the police's perspective. Ross McLean is a former Toronto police investigator and crime specialist at Ross McLean Security. You, sir, are calling this a stand-up day for Canada. This is a stand-up day for Canada. I mean, what they're doing here today, Anita, is they're trying to advance the cause mm -hmm. of making our community safer. You know, I, I sort of specialize in doing the work about sexual violence, violence against women, violence against children. And we need this legislation to get through, not watered down with some of the strong things that they have recommended in here. Uh, because it has to break, really, the chain of abuse that goes on. Yes. A lot of the abusers were abused themselves as children. So we need to break this chain that goes on. And in terms of the sentencing here, as you look at it, uh, as your reporter spoke to very clearly, mm -hmm. if you're a victim of sexual violence as a child, you've got a life sentence because mm -hmm. it affects you for the rest of your life. Great and, point. It, and, and it goes back and it, it's got penalties for your relationships going forward, mm -hmm. for your children and for your success in our country. So this is good news. What, what, what's your take on the uh, whole issue with uh, mental illness and how they are tackling that aspect of this, uh, this situation in legislation? Well, here's where we need to see the provincial government step up yeah. because mental health is pretty much dealt with by the provincial governments. Okay. And we've seen them dodge the bullet on mental health issues. Why? It costs real money. Ah. It costs real money, but it has savings in the end, Anita. Because what happens is if you allow someone with a mental problem, particularly sexual violence is very tough because they repeat it because it's in their, it's literally in their mind and in their genes to continue to do these it's offenses. It's what they've known. It's all they've known. Yeah. It's what they've known, but it needs to be interrupted and it yeah. needs to be dealt with. And just putting them in prison is not quite just the answer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good to protect us, but we need to get these people off the streets and mental health treatment where they deserve it. Tell me, uh, the whole idea of enhancing victims' rights, uh, putting the victim first, a lot of, I don't even want to say conservatives, I think if anyone has children or a niece or a nephew, it should always be victims first. But a lot of people say in the past it really hasn't been so, unfortunately, for everybody involved. Uh, what's your take on that particular aspect of this? Well, I would love to see all the parties get behind this. This, yeah. is an, this is not a political discussion. Yeah. This is a community and a life discussion. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I think that the, you know, while it's good that we have compassion and we deal with people and offenders and we look after them, we cannot neglect the victims mm -hmm. and the potential future victims mm -hmm. of people who've been convicted of these violent crimes and sexual crimes against children. I mean, if somebody gets out, they get house arrest and they commit it again, They've damaged someone else for the rest of their life. Mm -hmm. And we just, as, as parents and as a community, we can't take that risk, Anita. Ross, why has this taken so long? You know, politicians tend to drag their feet on a lot of things. We never know what exactly the who's behind why they want to do something or why they don't. Yeah. But I'd like to see any politician who gets in the way of watering this down or taking their time with this explain exactly why this needs to be watered down. That's we a great had, point. We had that young girl commit suicide out in Vancouver on YouTube for everybody to see yeah. because she was sexually offended through the things that they, these laws are trying to prevent. So I don't even know what to say here. I, I am really at a loss for words. I would say, and I think a lot of people would say, uh, it's a long time coming. Let's push this through sooner rather than later. Uh, like you said, though, as this faces, this shouldn't face a battle uh, moving forward in Parliament, should it? It shouldn't. Yeah. But, but, you know, here, here's some of the issues. One of the biggest issues in here for everybody is the way we treat house arrest. We can't, I called one time to get stats from the Ministry of the Attorney General. How many violent criminals do we have out under house arrest? They said they don't keep that stat. Ask them how many times do they commit violent crimes while they're still out on house arrest. We don't keep that stat. You know, you can't protect yourself against something unless you know what it is you're up against. Here, I guarantee you, every child who's been a... a assaulted in this way, they mm -hmm. know what it is that they're up against. And I think the politicians need to stand up for it too. Yeah, and you know, we'll be talking uh, a bit later to Sheldon Kennedy, as you know. He's been at the forefront, uh, I don't want to say the poster boy, that's uh, the, the incorrect term, but he's really been at the forefront in terms of addressing these horrific issues, uh, putting a, a face to, to all the, uh, these crimes that countless children face. Has that made a difference? 
Silence is what kills us on this. See, yeah. we haven't talked a lot about sexual violence and sexual violence against children. No. We've hushed it up. But a lot of people like Sheldon Kennedy and others and lots of brave women and brave children are coming forward and they're sharing their experiences. And you know what? We have to face that as a community. And our politicians have to face that as their responsibility to deal with this problem. So it's time to toughen up. It looks like, look, we're heading in the right direction. You said it's a stand-up day for Canada. Uh, no need to stop now, right? Just carry on with the momentum. Carry on and get it going. We need this sort of legislation badly. We needed it last week. All right. Great stuff. Thanks, Ross. Good to see you. Thank you. That is, of course, Ross McLean. He is a former Toronto police investigator and crime specialist at Ross McLean Security.